Yo, yo, welcome people, IG, church, family, familia, shalom, peace, God bless, all the good stuff. Hello, ni hao. Um, bonjour. I'm so happy and excited to be here with my friends. I got St. James to my right. Yo, yo. Finally, <laughs> yeah, come on. Can we can we all clap for St. James? We in the building. We, we in here. the building. Um, you know, I've been I've been talking about and posting St. James for about two years now. Yep. Um, and this is finally the face. The beautiful in the flesh. Here. Beautiful Ready face. St. James. This guy is my my best friend. He is my producer. Um, he is the guy that uh, most of my songs produce all my executive produce all my songs uh, mix and master my songs Nobody. submits my songs without him they wouldn't be a Jeremiah Palton in the music uh, industry at the moment so I appreciate you and God bless you bro how we could put like a little effect in the back yay yeah. the kids <laughs> alright now to my left uh oh what Drum roll. all been waiting for I am pleased to announce that an upcoming producer my friend, mi amigo, the man that played saxophone in time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Available on all streaming platforms. Yes, sir. <laughs> and the man who produced my next single moon, Tim Alvarado. Come on. Yeah. What's up? Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I'm so happy. You know, I'm so grateful uh, to be surrounded by people that are musically inclined, people that love God, most importantly, number one. And, um, I was hoping maybe uh, so people can get to know who Tim is. James, can you just let us know how did you guys meet? Because for those who don't know, I met Tim through James. Right, so, right. bro, take it away. So pretty much, I go to Mercy College in Dallas Ferry. Correct. For, for music production and recording arts. And I'm going to make the story kind of short. It's pretty funny, though. But we were in music theory I class. I actually like your story. <laughs> right, <laughs> we, right. we were in music theory class. Right. And he was sitting... Either next, you think you were next to me? A couple of I think, like, I, I think it was either right next to you or the seat next to me. Yeah, it was next, a little yeah. next to me, but our teacher out of nowhere, like, and like I've asked other people that have class with him, he never talks about this, so it was kind of weird. Nah, it was really, it was really weird. He bro. was started talking <laughs> about how he's a professional saxophone player and he goes and tours <clears throat> the world and stuff, and so he toured and went to, I believe Haiti it was. Yeah. And he was talking about how while he was there that they were doing voodoo rituals on him and that <laughs> that they were giving him like a um a spirit like a spirit man in a sense. I forgot what it was specifically. Spirit animal or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like yeah. that. And I don't know, it was just weird to me because I was like, Yeah, I'm a music theory, like I'm not here to listen to that. It was like yeah. kinda weird, but and then I, and then he was like, yeah, I could just feel like the spirits coming upon me now. And at the same time, bro. me and Tim both looked at each other and were like, yeah, nah, this bro, ain't it. Mind you, we've never spoken. I've never talked to this dude. Yeah. We just like, we looked at each other. Yo, this man is wild. Yeah, he's bugging. He's, he's bugging. bugging. <laughs> and so like, and then I think a couple of days later, I walked in class early and he was looking at like a no big deal poster of like his new mixtape. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you Christian? You listen to that song? He's like, yeah. I was like, yeah. okay, okay, now, okay. Now, the funny part was like, yo, you're a Christian? And I was immediately, I was like, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm like a pastor's kid and all that. Like, I'm a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to plug it in real quick. Yeah, but, the... yeah, and then ever since then, like, I remember I, I invited him to uh, your album release concert and he dubbed it. It's cool. Yeah. Um, wow, Loki yeah. dubbed it. Loki <laughs> Thank dubbed you it. for reminding me. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me, let me clarify. Let Go me ahead, clarify, clarify for the clarify people for real the quick. People. Go look at the people right now. So, um, it's, a, it's a really quick story. I had to work. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, <boy. laughs> okay, okay. We, he's excused. Um, I'll forgive him. And then ever since that, I told him, I was like, yeah, we, you know, we, make, we make music and this is an actual stuff. And he, he remembered you from like Val and stuff. Um, and then, yeah, I, one day I was like, I'll come to the studio and we work. And then mm -hmm. ever since then, we kind of just kicked it off. Yeah. Kicked it off. And then I remember meeting Tim. He, uh, came in when we were recording time Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and he was just sitting there. Super wide-eyed. Super yeah, wide-eyed. I didn't know if this guy was Christian. Not, not, not that he doesn't look, he seemed Christian, but yeah. I just didn't want to guess just because of the way he looked right. and stuff. So I was just like, man, I don't want to like act all foolish with you and then have, you know, just like, this could be a soul we can save. Right. Right? <laughs> let me, let me act like very diplomatic. Right. So. And then all of a sudden, like, I find out he goes to church soon. Like he's a saxophone PK. player, and it just clicked. And I'm like, bro, like, would you be down to just play? And he played. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then everyone that listens to that song, time, they're like, yo, I enjoyed the saxophone part. Yeah, and this mm -hmm. is it. That's such an honor, bro. Yeah. yeah, bro, it's a it's a blessing. I remember after it was after a session, one of your sessions. Um, we all, for some reason, we went to go ch get Chick Fil A. And you were like, yo, bro, I want you to play on a song, and yeah. you showed me. I was like. That's fire, bro. Like, I'm with it. And low-key, I was, like, shook. I was, like, yo, I don't know if, like, I'm going to be nice enough or whatever. But nah, then, come first of all, let me just set the record straight. Tim is nasty. Tim, is, so nasty. Tim, is, Tim is nasty on saxophone. 
I, I try, I try. He's yeah. definitely all, gonna all be glory alive. to God. Let's all first glory. of all, yeah, yeah. Let's all first glory of all. to God. Yeah, and and he's definitely gonna be his saxophone skills are gonna be all over my. Next I mean, project. he's 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 on one of the, the other songs on the project yep. too. He's gonna be all he's over. He's actually the on the intro. On yep. the intro song, which a is, little bit, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, y'all not ready so, for that. So yeah. flexing a little bit, a little bit. Let's get right to nitty gritty, bro. Yeah. Talk to us briefly. Um, who are you? Where are you from? Um, and what inspired Moon that everyone will be listening to on February twelfth? Tell okay. me, bro. Talk to me about it. So, um, obviously, my name is Tim. Yeah. Uh, born and raised in Jersey. Um, moved to the Bronx in twenty seventeen because you know I'm a I'm a pastor's kid i'm a pk so um my yes um so my parents they needed to be closer to the ministry so we moved to the bronx and um i finished my high school career there and then went straight to mercy and obviously that's where i met james and uh fast forward to the to the making of moon um so i remember you told me you were like yo bro i'm going for this like lo-fi i don't know if i got yeah, 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 yeah. Go like for going yeah. for going for a lo-fi type feel for my new album i was like yo bro that's fire bro that's like right up my alley i love doing that and um i really didn't make the beat and in- well you you remember i played you some songs like ideas yes. and we started realizing that we have a like similar yo, taste in music yeah. literally we were like oh you know this guy you listen to this dude yo it's fire bro <laughs> yeah we were we were vibing so um yeah, so I, I didn't make the beat intentionally, like, yo, I'm going to make this beat and send it to Jeremiah. It was more like, you know, it was in quarantine. I made the beat, yeah. like, in September, and I was, it came out fire, and I was like, yo, I think that Jeremiah would really like this. Yes. So I sent it over, and, like, literally within, like, an hour, you sent me back with a voice memo, like, already that. singing on it. I was like, yo, like, this joint's going to turn into something. Yeah, the song is fire. And fast forward to, what was it, early January this year, because it kind of, like, it... it, it didn't like fall off, but yeah, you know, we just didn't like find we didn't, like, a, we didn't find it. Yeah, we didn't find a time to right. record together and you know be in the studio at the same time. But um, I, and I guess we could talk about this, the A O One writing camp that we did mm-hmm. in yeah. January. Mm-hmm. You were like, "Yo, bro, I don't know what to record." And I was like, "Yo, bro," I, it came to my mind. I was like, "Yo, remember that song that I sent you?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, I was trying to slide my, I was trying to he get my to, producer. Trying to plug it in. He's like, "Yo, bro, I was trying to get a check, bro. I was trying to get a check, get a check. bro, because I'm broke." <laughs> I, I, right I respect it. I respect yeah. It. So I was like, "Yo, let's let's record Moon." And honestly, bro, me being there, seeing the the song unfold, bro, blessing. Wow, wow. Yeah. And for those of you who know, we're wrapping up now. Like, uh, we we did a, a writing a writers camp. Um, we were yeah. recording all the people on A One just. Uh, got together other producers and stuff and we just started writing out songs yep. and, and that's how it was and and Tim you're just such a blessing bro mm-hmm. and, and one thing I want everyone to know is that you, you both of you actually right. are, are, are endowed with like humility mm. you mm-hmm. know you guys have humility you has for, you're very successful and, and again you're successful in all the stuff that you've been doing and, course, and yeah. right yeah. now in the future so much so much more success is <clears throat> waiting for you and I love to know and I love to see that you guys are humble and you guys are down to earth and you have God as first. Amen. To as that. always. Amen. Yeah. So for everyone watching, if you want to do music and stuff, and you're like, yo, I need a producer and stuff, hit my man St. James up. Hit my man Tim. All right. These are both different producers that uh pro- you know they produce different type of fields of music. Yeah. Uh James is 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 super versatile, so he can come up with anything, but so can uh um uh Tim. So saxophone man, you know, the guy behind the faders, behind Jeez. the mixer, with everything, yo, this guy. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Thank you for, too, for, for being here. And Moon is coming out. Don't disappoint him. Don't Yo, disappoint Friday, him. Friday, I need my Friday, check. Right? I need my check. No, no. <laughs> we trying to eat. Yeah, we trying right? to eat. Dog. So listen to the music. And we, I hope you're blessed by it. All right. And again, James, thanks for being a part of my life. Tim, thanks for being a part of my life. Of course, bro. I love, love you, man. man. I love, love you both of you. Bro. Y'all, so we have this love, like bro, bromance going on right Big now. Big bromance. So it's good. We're gonna clip it. We're just gonna talk to each other and gaze each other's eyes. All right. All right. Listen, <laughs> so I love like... you guys. God bless y'all. Thanks. Yeah. Thank y'all. It's lit, boy.